Come on, Sergio. Top. Oh, brilliant round. Absolutely brilliant round. Just inside the time. Second and a bit inside the time. So I'm here with Sergio, who's just jumped the most amazing clear rounds. How do you prepare for such an event like this? Well, uh, actually, Carlo, it depends on the horse, but Carlo is pretty easy horse to uh, get ready for those shows. Uh, you just have to leave him as happy as possible, to be honest, and uh, he knows everything. Uh, he knows the job uh, in the ring, and at home, I basically keep him happy, put him a little bit on the paddock, uh, ride him a little bit on the forest, and I hardly jump him. Because he didn't jump him much in the collecting area. Is that to keep him fresh in the arena? Yeah, basically, he gets always a little bit of stress in the collecting arena, and um, especially here with all those carriages, and there's so much going on. So I just try to, uh, I get on him, I walk him a lot, just trying that he settles down a little bit. And then he doesn't need much uh, to warm up, really. He's just uh, so hectic, uh, horse and everything. So a few jumps is enough. And I saw you get off and put something on your hands. What was that? Well, it's just the normal glue that some riders put on their boots to stick to the saddle. I just put it on my hands. I, uh, Carlo, when he gets a bit nervous, he sweats a lot. And I don't really like riding with gloves. As when they wet, you can slip the reins as well. Mm -hmm. So I'd rather put some glue and then always hold better to hold on that's a really good tip actually for a lot of riders because i have that myself it's horrible you can't hold the reins can you at all when they're so slippery yeah when they when they sweat so much and even even with the gloves when they get wet then you're yeah. lost cannot do so much so when you're preparing do you have to really get yourself in the zone and psych yourself up for the show well yeah i always do before a big uh, before an important round like this one uh, i always do but especially with carlo i i get off and then i give him a couple of minutes to uh, settle down and get relaxed a little bit that he doesn't get as nervous and or carried with so much stress like before the class but uh, I always do like I need a few minutes for myself and think and just stay quiet yeah I think that's a really good idea because it can all get quite a lot to cope with can't it in your head it's just good that you just take those few minutes out to yourself and just compose yourself yeah, I think it's good especially with such a with such a horse when you have so much blood if you are trying to walk him and something goes wrong like he gets stressed or nervous then you cannot keep thinking about what you were thinking and I think it's not bad to get off and take a couple of minutes just to think and he comes down and get the saddle forward and all those things that might help a little bit. And you also got off and you wiped your boots? Yeah, like uh, sometimes when we walk a little bit in the warm up we get sand under the boots and so on, so it's just a few little tips that might help a bit. And what is going through your mind when you're walking up to that arena? Because you look so calm and cool. Well, I'm just trying to think about the course, what, how many strides I want to do in every line and uh, how everything feels, just get my rhythm uh, again after the defences and yeah, basically what uh, the plan and what I have to do once and again and again. Do you use uh, positive visualisation in your preparation, like visualise the course going really well, you riding it perfectly? Not really, but I, I just have to think that everything goes right, that uh, the horse is jumping good, that I just have to keep focus on myself and then uh, if I do everything right, then the horse will, will do it properly. Brilliant. Well, you did today. Thank you so much. Well done. Thank you.